Hello, I'm Adam, and I am the editor of our noir film, 47th Street, and I will be answering question 6, which is, what have you learned about the technologies from the process of constructing the product? So, during the process of creating our film noir video, there was a lot of work that went into the research, planning, creating, and producing the video, and it was very technology based. So this involved learning a lot of new skills for certain programs, and putting our ordinary skills to good use to produce some good work. There was a range of programs and websites that we used to showcase our work. This is so it was presented in a neat and professional looking way. This is also so that it would look good when uploaded onto our blogs. A key website for presenting our work was Prezi. Prezi allowed us to showcase our work in a neat looking presentation, which laid out our work well in a structured linear fashion. Other key tools for presenting our work were SlideShare. SlideShare allowed us to insert our PowerPoint presentations onto our blogs. Also we use Wix. Wix allowed us to create a website to present our film and evaluation questions. These were all key programs in the planning and presentation of our work. During the filming process, we used just a tripod and a camera for our filming equipment. This equipment was quite easy to use and was all we needed for our video shots. The tripod did sometimes cause our problems though. Because when filming and moving the tripod, the camera wasn't always stable and produced a shaking image, especially when trying to successfully achieve a tilt shot or something similar as the camera would shake and move when trying to film these shots. Another problem we encountered with our equipment was the camera's autofocus, as sometimes it would either go out of focus or not focus on what we wanted. Those equipment did have its problems, it was easy to use and set up, and did the job very well when it came to getting the shots we needed. When I started editing the video for our rough cut and gathering all the clips in order, I initially used iMovie. So when it came to editing the final cut of our video, I used the Apple software final cut. The reason for this is because iMovie is quite limited in its terms of editing videos properly, and I wanted to use a program that had more depth in terms of features and freedom to edit. Final cut gave me a lot of different options and the overall interface was much better to use. Before using final cut I had no idea how to use it, as I had no experience whatsoever in this program, but over time I learned how to use the program through watching tutorials and using some of the program's features. I think that final cut was definitely a good choice for editing our film, as the options were almost endless and very varied, and it helped enhance our film to how we wanted it. One problem that was solved through editing was the brightness of our film. As all of our shots were filmed at night time, it was hard to get proper lighting, so some of the footage we recorded was too dark for our liking. Thankfully, Final Cut allowed us to edit the brightness and contrast of the clips, making it easier to see without losing quality or the video quality becoming grainy. The filming studio or truck was not needed for our film, and the tripod was all we needed equipment-wise for filming. When it came to putting our music onto our video, I first tried using GarageBand, but I did not get the sounds that I wanted or needed. Although it was an easy, user-friendly program to use, I ended up using music from a copyright free CD, which had plenty of sounds that fit very well with our soundtrack. These were some quite dark, sinister and moody tracks, which complemented the atmosphere of our film.